Beloved in Christ, we welcome all of you to our morning mass here in St. Anne's and Hayes. Today is the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our first hymn is hymn 150, Jesu Lava of My Soul. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Beloved in Christ, today is the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we welcome all of you to St. Anselm Hayes. And our prayer is that God himself will continue to protect all of us and grant us our heart desires, and also be reminded that this journey is a very difficult and challenging one. But when we rely on the power and the authority of God, we will be able to go through it. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Kere, kere. came to call sinners.
You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie, Kyrie. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We will now joyfully sing the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is people of the God in the highest and on earth is we will all who pray. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your glory, Lord God the King. Glory to God in the highest and on earth is to people of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, holy begotten Son, Lord God of all God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy. be with you. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Please. The first reading is a reading from the prophet Jeremiah. You have seduced me, Lord, and I have let myself be seduced. You have overpowered me, you were the stronger. I am a daily laughing stock, everybody's butt. Each time I speak the word, I have to howl and proclaim violence and ruin. The word of the Lord has meant for me insult, derision all day long. I used to say, I will not think about him. I will not speak in his name anymore. Then there seemed to be a fire burning in my heart 
imprisoned in my bones. The effort to restrain it wearied me. I could not bear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response in the psalm. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you, For you my, my soul, soul is thirsting, thirsting O, o Lord, Lord my God. O God, you are my God. For you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Think of God's mercy, my brothers, and worship him, I beg you, in a way that is worthy of thinking beings. My offering you living bodies as a holy sacrifice, truly pleasing to God. Do not model yourself on the behavior of the world around you, but let your behavior change, modeled by your new mind. This is the only way to discover the will of God and know that what is good, what it is that God wants, what it is the perfect thing to do. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Chapter 16, verse 21 to 27. Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to demonstrate 
with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life? Or what has a man to offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And when he does, he will reward each one according to his behavior. The Gospel of the Lord. Please sit. Beloved in Christ, I speak to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear people of God, when we come to faith in Jesus and start our Christian journey, we face several challenges in our development. Then we begin to ask whether this path is correct whether it is even worth following, and whether God is directing us or the devil. Now, Jeremiah is talking about his call by God and the powerful persuasive force used by the Lord in respect of his call. Seduced, used twice in this passage, is from the Hebrew pata, which when translated will mean persuaded. And interestingly, the same is used in Proverbs chapter 25, verse 15. Jeremiah stopped preaching and presenting the oracles of God for a while due to the terrible opposition he faced, including bodily harm. Jeremiah could not continue without doing the work of God due to the burning fire of the word of God which was in his heart. Indeed, the fire of the divine wrath against sin burned so fiercely within Jeremiah that he couldn't help but resume work. Jesus predicted his destiny to go to Jerusalem where he will suffer grievously at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and will be put to death, and rise again on the third day. Beloved in Christ, it is expected that a loved one would not be happy to see his friend suffer, eventually leading to death. This is what happened to Peter. Peter had followed Jesus Christ for some time, They've become so close. And indeed, this is the same Peter last week, if you remember. Jesus said to him that you are Petrus, which means rock. And on this rock, I am going to build my church. The same Peter. Now he realizes that Jesus Christ was going to suffer death. And naturally, you will be sad and you wouldn't want a loved one to go through this. But what happened? Now Peter, a rock on which the church was built, is today a stumbling block, allowing himself to be used by the devil. Peter's action was to prevent Jesus from going to the cross which ultimately will lead to the salvation of humanity. 
And Jesus rebuked him. For that, and made it clear that those words were from the deceiver, from Satan himself. This shows how the devil always takes advantage of challenges we go through or about to go through to divert our attention from the things of God. Beloved in Christ, the deceiver is always ready, always prepared. He is very strategic. He always plans very well and he hits at the right time. And he's always ready to cash in when he realizes our vulnerabilities. And this is the time we need to exhibit our resolve, to stand firm in the faith, no matter the challenges. We must not conform in any way to the dictates of the world, but rather be transformed by the renewal of our minds. It's not about this is what everybody is doing, this is what the world is doing, so we must also follow suit. But what we need to ask is that what is the purpose of God on our lives? Beloved, when we do this, we will always be in tune with the Holy Spirit and be able to discern what God is saying so that the perfect will of God comes to pass in our lives. Our God is full of mercy and we must allow this to move us to worship him in a way that is worthy of thinking beings. Our lives are in hands and we are here today because of his grace and mercy which will always be sufficient for us. Even in difficulties, beloved in Christ and challenges, we therefore must present ourselves as living sacrifices that will be holy and acceptable to God. An excellent moral life that will be exemplary for the world to see and be convicted to come to Jesus. The challenges will always be there. And so we are admonished to take our cross and follow Jesus. We all have our crosses. You have yours, I have mine. But we must not run away from them, but rather embrace them, rely on the power of the Holy Spirit, and follow Jesus. By following Jesus, we are assured of getting to our destinations because it is through him that we will be able to decipher the voice of God. We cannot just take up our cross and follow. But in pursuing, we must also deny ourselves. We must put away all earthly desires. We must put away lustful desires. We must put away things that are not in conformity with the dictates of the scriptures. Beloved, self-denial is one of the things we cannot move away from in following Jesus. And it involves losing our lives for Jesus' sake so that we will have life. This is because we will gain nothing when we gain the whole world. Beloved, it is only through Jesus that we will have everything. There will be challenges when we follow Christ. We must be assured that his grace will always be sufficient for us. So let us take up our crosses and follow him. Allow the fire emanating from God's word to burn in our hearts continuously and always know that we will be rewarded accordingly. Amen.
Beloved in Christ, let us rise and say the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess the baptism of the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We will take our intercessions. Let us still our hearts and minds, and together with our global online family, give thanks to God for the many blessings we have received, and pray to him for the church, the world, and those in need. We pray for your worldwide church, for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and for all Christian people, that we might follow our Lord's command to deny ourselves, take up the cross, and follow him. Give us the willingness to lose our lives for your sake in order to gain true life. May we become your faithful disciples. We pray for believers serving in areas of hatred, where Christians are facing hostility and violence, where to become a Christian is to risk loss and rejection. Give them the courage to join in your suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for King Charles III and those in authority under him, that we might be quietly and godly governed. We pray that those in positions of authority around the world act justly and fairly, working to bring peace, unity and equality for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that you will make us a generous and hospitable people. We pray for the poor, the homeless, and all who are disadvantaged in our community. Give us wisdom as we seek ways to help meet their needs, especially through our food bank and outreach projects. We pray at this time for all those returning to school this week, especially those starting a new school, remembering Edmund Cashmore as he begins a new chapter in his education at boarding school. And we pray today for all, for Father Matthew, members of the 59 Club. Lord, we ask you to protect them as they ride to their special meet. We bring before you, Lord, all those involved in Sunday School here today and ask for your blessing upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for your love and compassion for all who suffer in body, mind and spirit. We pray that your healing presence will calm their fears, ease their pain, and bring light into the darkness of all who are sick. We ask that you will be with us and all who need your loving touch at this time. We pray by name for Wayne Campbell, Norma Piggott, Gemma, Deborah Ann Potts, Julie and her mother, Mavis and Daniel Sibley, Susanna Mansa, Jay, Atlantic and family, Desmond and Yolanda de Gale, C, 
Oliver Joseph, Nadifa, Penny Wren, Sandra, Beedor, and Antonio. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for promising eternal life to all who believe. We remember those who have recently departed this life, those who mourn, and those whose anniversary of death falls at this time, especially Nellie Robbins, Vera Kelly, Elizabeth Isles, Hazel Morton, Zuair David, Rolston Franklin, Leslie Franklin, John Allen, Edward Dean, and Gertrude Watts. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and, and let light petrol shine upon, upon them. We turn to Mary, Queen of Heaven, and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Lord, help us to take up our cross and to do your will and spread your word to all we meet. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now sing him 28, and we will generously give our offering.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world, that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer. To live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gates of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As in exaltation we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery. Oh 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Justin, our Archbishop, Jonathan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and with him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be with you. The peace of the Lord be with you. The peace of the Lord. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. Beloved in Christ, watching us online at this point, we want to encourage all of you to also make your spiritual communion with the Lord.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Please sit. We welcome all of you once again to um, St. Anselm Church, especially if today is your first day. We want to encourage you that um, this is a very wonderful family, and um, we pray that you continue to join us. Beloved in Christ, um, our notices are at the back of the pew sheets. And um, one of the notices that I want to um, emphasize is that uh, there will be Sunday school after Mass. It starts at 11.30 and finishes at uh, 12.30 p.m. So we want to encourage all the young ones to be part of it. Because today you will have a lot of surprises. We are also um, encouraging that our Thursday Fun and Fellowship is also on this Thursday. And this Thursday we will have a video show, and after which we will have some discussions. So we want to encourage all of you, those who can make it, to try and join us. It's on Thursdays from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And we could see uh, the notice that is written in bold uh, fonts that uh, we will need... Uh, somebody to uh, manage the um, the coffee bike just as, as right behind you for us so in case you know anybody who will be interested please um, try and um, contact Father Matthew we are also uh, encouraging all of us to up our giving and to sign up with the parish giving and that is also written in bold font. That is the last paragraph of the notices. We thank you so much and God bless us. We have, oh, how many? You see, we have three. Uh, three of our members are celebrating their birthday today. And uh, it's an honor and a privilege. To call on Tony. 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 All right. Catherine. Ha. <laughs> then Jackie. Oh, your baby, you will sing your song for you. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> we'll sing it for both of them. So how do we combine the two names anyway? Let's see how to do that. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Catherine, Jackie, and Tony as well. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace and announce the gospel of Christ.
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, the grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. And at the hour of our death, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now sing hymn 549. Love 